When you are new to investing, the thought of putting your hard-earned money into a brokerage account can be quite scary. You have thoughts of losing money or thoughts of not knowing where to invest the money and other thoughts and fears that come along with it. It's all completely normal. The thing is, is it's not about waiting until you have $1,000. Instead, you first want to make sure your finances are in order and you have a six-month emergency fund to take care of something that you do not foresee. After that, it's time to start putting your money to work. And in today's video, I'm going to cover the exact strategy that I took when I began investing, how I went from a broke college kid to a millionaire by my mid-30s. So if you're ready to start, do me a huge favor and click that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. Hey everyone, Mark Rusin here, back for another video. As always, I'm a CPA and not a financial advisor, so please do not take this as financial advice. And I'd like to begin by thanking today's video sponsor, which is The Motley Fool. The Motley Fool has a ton of great resources and products available for investors of all levels, whether you are a new investor or a regular investor. Right now, you can go to fool.com forward slash mark and sign up to see their top 10 best stocks to buy right now. So are you ready to take the next step in becoming a millionaire? If so, and unless you have the next Amazon or big time technology device, then odds are you will, this video will prove to be quite helpful for you because the other 99% of you that are regular folks like you and me, we need to build wealth the right way in a safe and stable manner. The right way is no get rich quick scheme. There's no magic wands that are gonna be waved here. The crazy thing is even those people that do get a chunk of money early on end up returning to broke rather quickly. So why not start out the right way by building a safe and reliable portfolio that will continue to build wealth year in and year out. So where do we begin? It starts with building healthy and consistent habits. Whether that means $100 or $1,000 per month, build a habit of consistently putting money into the stock market every single month. If you do a monthly budget, you go through your monthly budget, make investing its own line so it's a priority. You want to pay yourself at the beginning of each month, not at the end with what's left over. So don't worry about saving up an exact amount to start investing. Just start the process. Again, we're not gonna go from $1,000 to $1 million portfolio overnight. Again, it's a marathon, it is not a sprint. So first we want to build healthy habits by putting money regularly into the stock market. And as your money and disposable income or salary increases, we're also going to increase our monthly contribution. Once we put that money into a brokerage account, don't forget to do something with it. I've come across this more times than you could think. Folks put their money into a retirement account, into their brokerage account, but then they don't invest it. That's like putting your money into a savings account. You have to invest those dollars. So your next question is probably, Mark, okay, where do I invest it? This is gonna be different from person to person as everyone has a different strategy, a different risk appetite, and a different time horizon on when they want to retire. If you have taken my six week investing accelerator course with me where you work one-on-one, -on -one, then you know that we focus on building out a strategy for yourself and then focus on investments that fit that strategy. If you are interested in taking that course with me, then you can go to my website, rusinfinancial.com to inquire and fill out an interest form to get your name added to the list. For me and 99% of investors, it's about first building a strong foundation. You need your portfolio to have stable footing for when periods and in the economy get tough. The best way to do this is by investing in a broad-based index fund or ETF, and that can mean a total market index fund or something like the S&P 500 index fund. If you are a premium subscriber to my Dividend Investor's Edge newsletter, then you have seen my entire dividend portfolio and the different weightings, and at the top you will see my largest weighting is an S&P 500 index fund. This is an investment that gets added regularly, and that won't change for a long time. I get exposure to 500 of the best companies in the US and really the world. After building that strong foundation, that is when you can start branching out into other ETFs or index funds or even individual stocks if that fits your strategy. Again, always stick to your strategy and know why you are investing in something. And the why should not be because some analyst on CNBC or because some smart YouTube guy named Mark, although I'd be flattered, but Perform your own due diligence. Learn how to value stocks. 
Again, this is something that we cover in our six-week investing accelerator course. We go through all the different valuation metrics on how you can understand to be able to be your own portfolio manager. The great thing about investing is you can be as hands-on or as hands-off as you want to be, but stick to your plan and regularly check in on your portfolio and continue to feed money into it, and your investments will do the rest of the work for you. My goal for myself is to accumulate $100,000 in annual dividend income. So you will find a lot of dividend paying stocks and ETFs within my portfolio. You will also find growth stocks, but the majority will be dividend paying investments. So to recap, we first want to get our finances in order. We want to first make sure that we have that six month emergency fund because we never know when something's going to come up. From there, we want to start building healthy habits and start investing into our brokerage account on a regular basis. Remember, we're going to add that into our budget line. That's going to be at the top. We're going to make that a priority and not invest what's left over. From there, we want to start by building a strong foundation within our portfolio. For me, the first $100,000 that I invested in the market went into an S&P 500 index fund. I still invest into that index fund on a regular basis. And then after that, you want to make sure you have a strong strategy and stick to your game plan. That could mean other ETFs outside of the S&P 500. Or if you want to take on a little more risk, then that might mean individual stocks. But understand why you're investing in those stocks. Understand the company. Understand valuation. And then from there, you want to continue to add money into the market and just make this a revolving door where we continue to feed money into our brokerage account and we will slowly, over time, it starts slow, but that snowball starts rolling in your favor and you will see your portfolio continue to grow and grow as your money is being put to work. I hope you guys found this video both educational and enjoyable. And if you haven't done so yet, please smash that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel and let me know down in the comments section, how did you invest your first $1,000? With that being said, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.